What's up guys, Ricky Carruth here coming to you with another pros and cons of being a real estate agent. Here we go. So I just got two deals done today. My buyers, I got a listing. I just got through with live calls I did with a gentleman up in Canada. Uh, he made live calls, YouTube live, while I coached him through those calls. It was a really good session. I think at the end of the day, the positives that came out of it was the fact that he got better. He got a little bit better during that session. You could tell by the end of the call session that he got a little better. And that's all that matters at the end of the day because you, it, it's, it's the work you put in and the patience behind it and the daily grind. You should never be focused on the results, but only how much effort you're putting in on a daily basis and that you went through those call sessions the way that you said you would and the way that you time blocked your day to do those call sessions. That's what matters to me, how many hours I'm gonna put in, not necessarily how many people I talk to, not necessarily how many appointments or listings or deals I got out of it, but how many hours that I put in that I do the work that's all that matters to me at the end of the day. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about a little hack. I did a video uh, last week about how to sell your listings. What you do once you get a listing, how do you sell it? What do you do once you get it, the actions that you put in place, the systems, and to get that listing sold as quick as you can for the seller. I'll link it at the end of this video, but I wanted to add to it. Okay, there was one little part that I left out. I wanted to add to it right here, and that is this. When you're making those calls in that subdivision, you're circle prospecting around that listing or sale, what I want you to also do is I want you to think. I want you to sit down with the legal pad. I want you to think about what property owners might want to upgrade to that listing. So when you take the listing, I want you to go back and watch the video if you didn't see it about all the basics of what you do once you get the listing, but I want you to add this step at the end. I want you to brainstorm about who would wanna to upgrade to that listing. If it's a three bedroom, who has a two bedroom they might wanna to upgrade to? If it's waterfront, are the people across the street, maybe they're thinking about upgrading something on the water. So on and so forth. I want you to really think about who might be a targeted prospect that would really actually be interested in upgrading to that listing that you have. And then I want you to go to Red X. I want you to go to Geo Leads. I want you to pull those people that you think might upgrade to this listing and I want you to call them. And I want you to tell them about the listing. I want you to use my circle prospecting script. I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but I've got a listing over here wherever on the water, and I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. We're going to use the same script. We're just going to add the reason that we have this amazing listing that just happens to be an upgrade to what they already have. And then we're going to ask them if there's anything in the world we can do for them. But we're going to kind of fill the situation out. And who knows? We may throw in there. I didn't know if you guys were thinking about upgrading to something on the water or to a three bedroom or whatever the upgrade situation is. So. This is a little trick that I've used so much in my career, and I love it because just like the circle prospecting around the people in the same subdivision, which there might be people in that same subdivision that want to upgrade to the listing theirself. You never know, but I've used this so much, and it does so much because when you call, you're actually getting the opportunity to not only, like I say, uh, advertise that listing and, and get that listing out there, right, and push that listing, but you also may run into all kinds of new relationships with property owners in the area. And hey, what's market share, guys? It is lifelong relationships with property owners in the area. That's the definition of market share. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you. I hope this helps you and gives you another tool in your tool belt so you can get out there and crush it, succeed. Do me a favor and click subscribe. Give me a comment, hit that like button, and just succeed. That's all I want you to do. Just get out there, use something I'm sharing with you on this YouTube channel and my coaching program and my podcast on Facebook, on Instagram, anywhere you're following me, whatever the information is that you can consume and get out there and use it for good. I want you to get out there and use it. So have a good day. We'll talk to you guys soon.